We used to draw many circles, but today we'll use circles to draw flowers. First, I drew three circles and a small one in between them. To turn these circles into flowers, we'll draw lines inside them for petals, and then we'll sketch the petals along these lines. These lines help create a boundary for the flower so that the petals stay inside it. Without this boundary, the petals would look different and uneven, especially for beginners. This technique will be very helpful. And drawing the flowers from the front view, which is like looking at them from the top. If we want to change the flower shape, we just need to change the shape of the circle. We'll talk about this in more detail later. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe for a full course. We're drawing the petals one by one, but remember to make them look natural and not all the same. To make it more realistic, we'll add some variations. Next, we'll draw the stems. Ill all the flowers should be connected to the stems, but the stems shouldn't look separate from the flowers. Also draw leaves and flower buds, making sure they look neat and natural. Everything we draw should make sense. Drawing from a reference in the real world can make it look more realistic. This technique will show you how to draw a flower from a circle. I've also drawn leaves and flower buds. The leaves have different angles and can come out in various directions. With practice, you won't need a reference anymore. To keep things balanced, we'll add leaves to the stem according to its size. Small stems get fewer leaves, while big and strong stems can have more. This makes your drawing look balanced. <laughs> time for shading. I have detailed shading videos in a playlist called Learn How to Draw on my channel. You can watch and learn from there. Take care and see you in the next tutorial.